Australia uses metric system. Germany uses metric system. The UK, Sweden, Canada, Spain, France, and then the United States beam to the moon. Yeah. Solid point. Laughing emoji. United States flag. Laughing emoji. Uh, by the way, NASA uses the metric system. So... Mm. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Jacob. Welcome to Face Palm, where we're going to be looking at people who are very, very smart. Very smart. Uh huh. That's sarcastic. It's 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 not good. Just just watch. <laughs> Large boulder the size of a small boulder is completely blocking Eastbound Lane Highway 145 MM 7A at Silver Pick Road. Please use caution and watch for emergency vehicles in the area. It's a large boulder the size of a what? A small boulder. Did they not make it clear? A large boulder the size of a small boulder. Therefore, I don't know. It's, it's, what, what boulder is it? I see this all the time, and I just, it, it's perfect. They probably meant like the size of a small car, but it, I like it. <laughs> Statistically speaking, if three million people are getting the vaccine, one of them will die in a car crash on the way home, which means my idiot Anne is going to Facebook message me that the vaccine causes car accidents. <laughs> see, my, well, I told you so. That's why I'm not getting it, all right? <laughs> no, Kylie Jenner isn't a billionaire. A GoFundMe campaign wants to fix that. Apparently, 900 million isn't enough. Yesterday was the anniversary of Shane Patrick Boyle's tragic preventable death. He died from ketoacidosis when his GoFundMe campaign to buy insulin was $50 short. Wow. Why? And people want to get- why? She's got 900 mil- is anyone actually doing that? This double-ended male plug does not exist. If you need this kind of adapter, you have hung your lights incorrectly. Restring or run an extension cord to the other end. These plugs are not manufactured because they are illegal. Huh? Are people using those? <laughs> That'll just electrocute you, right? Like, if you put that in, it's just gonna go zap. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the fact that they have to make signs for this. <laughs> Conspiracy theorist, age 30, died of coronavirus after trying to catch it to prove it was fake. Well, you you caught it, so you succeeded halfway. The, the other half... <laughs> oh, apparently that woman isn't the person who caught it, she's just the doctor discussing it. But the man who did do it, like, you're dumbed. <laughs> I have a big prayer request. My husband and mother-in-law have my oldest daughter with them at their house. They got her four vaccines today without asking me. I am anti-vaccines. Please pray she will be okay. Have your kids always been okay after vaccine shots? Ah, oh, I am so sorry to hear that your daughter has a greatly reduced chance of both dying from preventable diseases and has now joined the rest of humanity in protecting the lives of those who can't be immunized from those diseases. It's a tragic day for all of us. Remember to send your prayers. That is what will fix it. The vaccines, they're not going to do anything. All they're going to do is like, I don't know, prevent the virus or something. No, prayers. That's what you need. Thank you. <laughs> Elon Musk saying, I absolutely support trans, but all these pronouns are an aesthetic nightmare. You named your child X-A-12, and you want to call pronouns an aesthetic nightmare? Ah, it's got like, it's the worst person to say that, really. <laughs> Sometimes, I think about the guy at my poker table in Vegas who was kicked out after the pit boss said he was too drunk. It was a high bar. Security came over, asked him to say the alphabet starting with M, and he replied, Melphabet. <laughs> he was escorted out of the room. Why are you booing him? He's right. He's not right. He is right. <laughs> Hi, so are you two twins in real life? Uh, no. It's quite a weird story. We met at the auditions. <laughs> I remember actually seeing this. It was so quick to say no. Like, like what? <laughs> this guy trying to park his car, but they're filming. A ah, bro, who brings a massive tripod like that to, to, to sort of like a Walmart? Bro, let the guy park. You can do it anywhere else. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy should have just been on the horn the entire time. Like, come on. Just move, I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> Here are the deadliest days in American history. So the Gabbleston Hurricane got 8,000. Antietam killed 3,600. September 11th, 2,977. And then last Thursday, last Wednesday, last Tuesday, last Friday, and Pearl Harbor. 
Wow. Is that actually real? That's that nah. And apparently this was posted five days ago and it already needs updating because September 11th just got overpassed. Like, why? For context, they're talking about climate change. Ugh, idiot. Carbon dioxide is plant fertilizer. It's what every plant on the earth breathes in, and in return, we get oxygen. Carbon dioxide is a good thing. Fool. We need water to live, to drink, but too much water kills by drowning. It's a similar analogy. It's just the whole, like, too much of anything can probably kill you. Like, oh yeah, we do need vitamin D, but if we have too much vitamin D, it will probably kill us. If you have too much calcium, you probably will die. It's just, you know, we don't need that much carbon dioxide. Maybe we should uh, go back a bit. <laughs> Christmas lights kept turning off, so I did this. Hopefully now they'll stay on for the Christmas season. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> The reverse of shame. Bro, what? Did he really try and overtake that? <laughs> oh, sorry, she. <laughs> wow, that's, that's bad. <laughs> Here is a poll for America's willingness to take the vaccine. Will receive the vaccination? 50%. Unsure if they want to vaccine? 25%. And will not get vaccinated? 50%. Yes, 125% of the population, that's who we interviewed. <laughs> there is an enormous demonstration going on at Stanford Hospital right now, carried out by staff who were protesting the decision by higher-ups to give the vaccines to some administrators and physicians who were at home and not in contact with patients instead of frontline workers. <laughs> Why not just give it to all of them? Or just, like, prioritize the people that are gonna get it most likely. If you're at home, you're not gonna get it. <laughs> Some people are genuinely angry that Microsoft and Sony will remove your access to Cyberpunk when you request a refund. They want to keep the game and also get refunded. Uh, Xbox support? I just got refunded for Cyberpunk, but now you guys are removing it from my console? I want to play the game still. You scammed the world by allowing a game to be released and sold on your console that does not work and will not work for months. But he refunded it here at Microsoft. That'd be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? You know, going to the grocery store, buying all the things that you need, and then just saying at the end of it, oh, you know what? I wasn't satisfied. I want my money back, and I want to keep all the groceries, okay? Is, is that fair? Mm. Brazil's Bolsonaro says the Pfizer vaccine against COVID-19 could turn human beings into alligators. <laughs> what? If you become an alligator, it's your problem. Yeah, you know what? I'm willing to take that risk, sir. I think I am. <laughs> Someone told me my videos are boring and too short, so he doesn't enjoy watching them, but he wants them to last longer. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe, like, the message isn't long enough? Like, you condense it too easy? Maybe you're educational? I don't know what videos you made, but I, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Alexandra says, Our class congratulated to Tyrone and Dashina for being black teens. Huh? <laughs> Look at their faces, they're like, what What are we here for? What? <laughs> Alright, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, golf swing? Are we practicing golf swing? Yeah, right next to that, that very delicate light. I wonder what's gonna happen here. This is a minute long, can we just skip to the bit where he hits it? Yep, there it is, okay. <laughs> what, what did you think? <laughs> In Germany, schools closed one week early because of coronavirus, and this is the work that the English and German teacher gave us to do during the week. It's 95 pages. <laughs> I would just not- 95 pages? Nah, like, you shouldn't do that. And look at the front, it, it's got like the happy emoji like, oh yeah, enjoy the, the week off that we're giving you, and do all this work. All right, part three, the universal law of gravitation. If you throw a ball into the air, the force of what will make the ball fall back toward Earth? Is it gravity? Yes, yeah, yeah it's gravity, it, it just told me. <laughs> Something is off here. Huh. <laughs> I like how there's no snow whatsoever as well. Just, you know, they're there, they're, they're, they're vibing. Maybe they're not snowmen. Maybe they just look different. And look at these cables. Oh, please fix those. <laughs> All right, apparently she's crazy. She, she thinks color is fake. Let's see. 
brown Snapchat filter. People with blue eyes probably see things through a blue Snapchat filter. Think about it. Yeah, my shirt's purple, but you, David, probably. Okay, I, that's, she's she's nuts. She's just saying random things. But you know, like it kind of could be true, and we don't see the same color. You know, your blue is not my blue. It might be a different shade. It might be a completely different thing. But yeah, I don't think that's how the eyes work. <laughs> Drone with flamethrower torches wasp nests in China. I wonder if that had anything to do with the massive fires in California and Australia this year. I know they happen every year, but I'm finding it strange how all of this year they are getting worse and more savage. But have then there is always a link to China in some shape or form. Sometimes coincidence just keep coming so often it makes you doubt it. Keep being coincidences, winky face. <laughs> it's true. Yep, th this guy, he, he's, he's got it down to a T. China is sending their drones and flamethrowing other countries. <laughs> Albuquerque boy arrested for burping must digest suspension court rules. Seventh grader interrupted class with repeated loud belches. Federal appeals court says petty misdemeanor arrest was justified. What a great system. You know, seventh grader arrested for burping. What? <laughs> if you want to see more, click on screen. That would be nice. And subscribe if you're not already. Y yeah. God, arrested?